What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into Corey Pools, a uh, 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 green emoji out on Carmen. Carmen is terrified. Let's get into it. I spoke on Carmen finally admitting that, yes, she did go back to Corey. Now, Carmen finally... All right, y'all. Yes, I went back to this person that broke me down in pieces. Definitely wasn't a part of the plans, but God told me I needed it. I needed whatever answers. I dealt with so much again. Oh, I hate the way y'all fucking spell. LOL, but we're not going to discuss that. But I had to be there again to realize that it's not for me. Carmen, that nigga went on live and called you an immigrant and went on a rant of calling you an immigrant for months. And you telling me you had to go see if it was real. Oh my God. Now y'all, and disclaimer, I am definitely speaking from a 30 plus, you know, a 30 plus um, lens, but I'm going to come down <laughs> to the 20 where I was in my 20s. Let's see if we can get a better understanding. Really admitting that, yes, she did go back to Corey. Now, the Shade Room teens did post this onto Instagram with Corey's response that Carmen was actually jealous of the assistant. Oh so then Carmen went back underneath the Shade Room teens post and stated. Yeah, I'm looking for an assistant who can shower with me, sleep with me, have X with me. Hmm. Yeah, taking applications now. Carmen, you had that with Michi. And that's no disrespect to Michi. What I'm saying is you had to meet. You uh y'all was getting work done together. Y'all was getting to the shmoney. You know what I'm saying? And um, I feel like him, Prime, all of them was able to help you in the time that you needed help. Well, yeah, I'm looking for an assistant. And Dick was included. Who can shower with me, sleep <clears throat> with me, have ex LOL, I'm crazy and have my flaws, but anyone would love for me to be their wife. And I'm very secure on that. LOL. I right, let me stop. It's with me. Mm, yeah. Taking applications now. And that'll make you a husband material. I know that she's mocking Corey, but what I'm saying is she was in a position where she had the same thing he had, but it's okay. By the way, then she also states for me, let back LOL ish. I was oh my in God. Nobody would have been okay with me going back. LOL ish. I was embarrassed myself. I have love for the boy, of course, but yeah, that's dead, LOL. Always want to downplay me when he can't get his way, LMAO. How you working on your family but want me to be okay being under the same roof as someone you have been uh, sexually active for months? Make it make sense. Yep, I'm dumb, stupid, all that, so y'all can say it, and I agree. Yes, you are. First of all, I don't know why Corey was trying to come out here like, he wasn't smashing his assistant. Corey, what did Kendrick Lamar say? They're not, Drake, they're not that dumb. Oh, no, Drake, they're not dumb. Like, Corey, you actually thought that we thought that you was um, out here with your assistant not putting your hot dog in her bun? That would absolutely be cap. I mean, a blind man could see that one. I can't wait to hear his side of the story. Bears myself. I lied and I disappointed a lot of me. I'm hurt behind that paying consequences for my decisions. But hey, I have to go through this ish to move forward and nobody will understand my shoes. So F it. I walked and ran on those shoes. I won't do it again. This ish will drive somebody crazy. It sure will when you stay there. I lied. A dude also spoke on previously how Carmen stated on Twitter that she was in fear, and that's why she went back to Corey. Will Corey let everyone know exactly <clears throat> when you know what a person is capable of? We grow a fear towards them that sometimes our decisions are based off being scared of what else can this person do, not playing a victim. But like I said, y'all will understand, and y'all will not. The first, it's one incident that we had, right? That she tried to use. Because I, I learned about women, and I, I said, damn, this shit real. So that's why I, you got to be, us men got to be careful, right? <laughs> so we got into this bad fight one day, right? It was an argument fight. I don't know what the fight. I, I swear to God, I don't even remember what the fuck it was about. But 
we like I know how we will get an argument, right? And Carmen would not stop. She will continue and continue and continue. It's like, yo, chill. Like you try to walk away, all that. She would not let you walk away. I'm telling you, she the type would just sit there and just dig it on and get bad and bad, right? I'm the type. Of, I always try to walk a fucking way. I don't like to argue. I'm not gonna sit here and raise my voice at you. You don't even want to hear me out. I know it's probably after you called every damn bad name in the book under the sun other than the child of god so <laughs> you don't want to talk properly you don't want to comprehend you want to just argue. niggas will be like you a hoe you stupid you know what i'm saying you don't, you don't, you don't live right you don't do nothing right you know what i'm saying you ain't worth a damn and then try to figure out why uh uh chandelier is coming across the room <laughs> i ain't even put my hands on her you passive aggressive ingrates you well, hello, sexy lady. I love you. I love you. She right. That booty is booty and grind. And I ripped the gym in two weeks. I'm going to walk out. She never let you leave. So it was arguing one night, right? Maybe it was a while ago. So this shit ain't even reduced. It was a while ago. But I just, I, 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 I got my finger on her. And I got a bit passed into the shit that she been saying and the shit she been doing. So as we argue, we argue, we argue, we find you fussing, we fussing. She's good at putting hands on me now. Now you put your hands on me, I'm going to hit your ass back. Simple. Don't put your fucking hands on me. I, I'm not. I'm just, I don't disagree. Stop putting y'all hands on niggas. They hit back. It, and I'm not even going to hit you back right then and there. I'll let you, but it's like, bro, don't put your fucking hands on. Keep hitting me and you spend them mind hit you back. So we argue, we argue, we fussing, fight. She throwing shit. She hit me with shit. She's in my room. She throwing shit at me. Woo -woo. So I'm trying my best to stay sane. Like, bro, leave me the fuck alone. Woo -woo. So boom, my gun's sitting on my counter, right? Ain't no, ain't no bullets. Like, I don't keep no bullets in my gun. In the house, I got my kids in there. So my gun's still on the counter, right? And I got so angry, I'm mad. I got my gun. I got my gun. Like, bitch, you better get the fuck back. Leave me the fuck alone now. Nah. Oh. So boom, my gun sit on my counter, right? Ain't no, ain't no bullets. Like I don't keep no bullets in my gun in the house. Where I got my kids in there. So my gun sit on the counter, right? And I got so angry, I'm mad. I got my gun. I got my gun. Like, bitch, you better get the fuck back. Leave me the fuck alone, now. Nah. <laughs> they saying like, bro, leave me the fuck alone. Woo. So boom, my gun sit on my counter, right? Ain't no, ain't no bullets. Like I don't keep no bullets in my gun in the house. Where I got my kids in there. So my gun sit on the counter, right? And I got so angry, I'm mad. I got my gun. I got my gun. Like, bitch, you better get the fuck back. Leave me the fuck alone, now. Nah. <sighs> Corey, you probably shouldn't have never said that. I ain't even gonna lie to you, boy. He probably shouldn't have never said that. First of all, I don't know about y'all. I've been in several toxic situations. <clears throat> now, let's just say things can get ugly, right? But I think he would have been better off just, uh, getting the hell out of Dodge. Now, he did insinuate that she won't let him leave, but, I mean, hell, Karma probably five foot two, all about 130 pounds. He could have slid her right onto the side and got up, up, up out of there. However, I'm not going to disregard the fact that Carmen was, you know, I guess exuding this type of behavior, if this is true. Um, but... It's hard to, I feel like these men, they damned if they do, damned if they don't in a situation where a woman keep putting her hands on them. Now, I'm going to just let y'all know right now. If I had a son and he was at school and a girl kept hitting him, I would absolutely tell him to hit her ass back. Be mad at me all you want. I don't give a damn. I don't feel like women should, I don't feel like nobody should hit nobody. I've been in a abusive relationships where I was the one who was getting hit or I was the one who was hitting some ass because y'all keep hitting me. You know what I'm saying? It started off with, I, I ain't gonna fight. I ain't gonna fight. I ain't gonna fight. Then to the point where somebody will keep hitting you. So at some point you gotta decide, you're not gonna continue hitting me, bro. You're not gonna t continue disrespecting me. You ain't gonna continue doing none of that shit. So when a woman decides that she want to hit a man, I feel as though he has the right to protect himself. Do I think he should just like beat her up as if she is a man? No, but I do feel like he has the power. Unfortunately, I wish we were all blessed with the same strength, but that's a different conversation. Since he's stronger, he can get off of him in so many ways without having to close fist, knock her ass out. But in certain situations, we don't know these situations. I mean, it, so many things happen. So I'm sorry. If a woman just keep hitting a nigga, get off you. 
I, I'm I'm not the one to be like, you shouldn't hit a woman and she's hitting you. Oh, no. Get 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 up off me. Because my son, I would tell my son to do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so in my heart, I know for a fact, like, I know for a fun fact, it ain't no if, as a but. Like, first of all, I ain't no bullet like that. Second of all, a nigga ain't like, gonna shoot you. Third of all, like, a nigga ain't even gonna, like, try to harm you. So, yeah. Corey, why is you rolling your neck like that? Fat. Like, I know for a fun fact, it ain't no if, as a but. Like, first of all, I ain't no bullet like that. Second of all, a nigga ain't like, gonna shoot you. Third of all, like, a nigga ain't even been a night try to harm you so I don't even try to do it but I did. uh Corey you know I was on your side <clears throat> you can't pull a tool out on a woman and think that she know that ain't no bullets in there that's number one number two you can't pull one out on anybody my daddy always told me if you're gonna pull it out you better use that bitch okay so that would be the day because if she had one <clears throat> your ass would have been grass buddy <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because she would have been scared as hell. She thinking you trying to take her up out of here. When, in fact, you probably should have just pushed her back. Might have, might have had to, you know, get up off you, whatever. <clears throat> but you can't expect for a person to think, ain't no bullets in there. I'm straight. Like, uh, that's not that's not how that go either. <laughs> I did it because you won't leave me the fuck alone. And you keep got them, like, throwing shit at me. You keep trying to hit me. So boom, we got into a little argument right there one time. It's like, so boom, I remember everything was good after me. You feel what I'm saying? It was like, bro, we always get into arguments. But I remember she- Y'all, it's never good. When you get into arguments like that and y'all whooping each other and, and pulling out Tulianis and things like that, it's never good. That type of trauma doesn't go away. Young people, if it happened, let it go. <laughs> let that relationship go, especially if you feel like you got to pull out, you know, the two- and I'm saying the two, obviously, for YouTube purposes. If you feel like you got to pull that out, just go and get up out of there. She brought that situation up, right? And she tried <laughs> to use it. She flipped the switch and she made it sound so bad. And I mean, I called it one day. Sure, because it is bad. <laughs> what the fuck? And I'm like, hold up. I ain't saying that to her, but I said something. Like, and I, I, I'm a, you got to be a man. You got to have common sense. I said to my son, I said, hold up. It sounds like you're trying to... Trying to, trying to you, Use this and make it seem like a nigga. It, 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 was, it was something that it wasn't. Cora, you could be a woman with common sense. He killed me. You, you got to be a man. You got to be a man. No, no, no. Women have common sense as well. And what was common to her is this nigga trying to hurt me. <laughs> like, oh, shit. I done done a little too much. He trying to hurt me. Um, <clears throat> In no way, shape, or form should she play victim in that moment. But it's no way, shape, or form you should think that she thinks that it's crazy for her to think that you would do anything worse to her like actually use it you get what i'm saying when you start doing these types of when you start showing these types of actions that let it, it lets it be known that you could do way more than that you could actually do it yeah i can't deal with that type of in my 30s and up oh we're not dealing with that because if you pull that out i know damn well you will do that to me i know damn well you will <laughs> oh no 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 he just said all this so i ain't saying that Literally, I ain't say shit. I'm just listening to you. And so then, boom, days months go by, and she brought it up again. So I said to myself, I, I see what type of woman I'm dealing with. I'm dealing with a woman, you know what I'm saying? That if she can't get her way, she'll try to find with any person. Though. If you can prove that I'm that person, then I, I own her. I just put my gun out. I put it in the house. Look at the fuck back. Literally, I don't gotta hide that I did. Cause I'm telling you, even when, even when it happened, I told my mom like, man. Motherfuckers be trying to use shit and make shit seem way worse than what the fuck it is. And like, you know damn well it ain't like that because you know what people, when you tell somebody else, you know, when a person hears something, the only thing you can think of the worst, right? Simple. That's the only thing you can think of the worst. So everybody gonna think the worst when you say something. So that's why I don't, you know, you, when, you, when you become a tree, you deal with so many people on the internet, bro, you don't understand that. So they're like, on the internet, it's like, I don't pay attention to it. But I just be real though. And it's like, bro, if I'm such this bad person, bro, honestly, all I'm asking is just show it. Just show it, bro. Approve it. Just show it. She said he made it. already did it for um, Corey. He asked about he about to shoot me. I'm done. <clears throat> How can somebody that's going to shoot you if they don't even if they don't got a bullet in their gun? If they don't even put the aggression to act, they're going to shoot you. I was walking out and I grabbed my gun as I'm walking out. I always felt like the act of doing something is worse than actually doing it. Like... I feel like premeditating to <clears throat> premeditating to do anything with anybody or on anybody or whatever is way worse than you actually doing it because that means you thought about it, nigga. 
you thought about it and if you could think about it then you have the capabilities to do so nah. <laughs> And as I was walking out, she said, please, so I turned up around and said, you better get the fuck back. And How? Carmen, you need to keep your hands to yourself, girl, for you be up out of here. Oh, it's that act like he about to shoot you. You see what I'm saying? You see how women can take something, I swear to God, bro, and y'all can take it and make it seem like it's the worst shit ever, but y'all have never explained exactly how it really happened. Straight up. Yeah. And he right on that part, um, on the women not explaining what happened. But it is the worst thing in the world to pull that out on somebody and then try to pull back like, oh, I'll never do that. <laughs> of course, you already did. So it's like, you got to stand on that, my boy. <laughs> like, this is a situation where he kind of gaslighting karma like, hey, she was hitting me, but I know I pulled that out, but I pulled it out because, I mean, you was hitting me, yes, cool, <clears throat> but she trying to make it seem like it's that serious. That's the gaslighting part because it is serious. <laughs> like her putting her hands on you, cool. We could say that is serious because nobody should put their hands on you. I will say men talk all the time about how a woman isn't strong enough to fight them. Like, man, she was hitting me. I ain't even feel that shit. That shit wasn't nothing. So why in the event of them putting their hands on you, y'all act like y'all about to die? <laughs> Like, nigga, I'm strong as hell, nigga. I'm a man, nigga. You can never like, do nothing to me, nigga. As soon as a woman hits y'all, y'all, oh, my God, she put her hands on me, bro. Uh, now, I, are y'all the strongest in the group or are you not? <laughs> so it's just, I don't know. It's all so contradictive. Like, y'all be trying to figure out why I, why I sound like I'm contradictive. It's because this shit be contradictive, bro. It be so contradictive, like, I'm a man, that shit don't hurt, nigga, it ain't nothing. What she do, just hit me a little bit, like, nigga, I'm a grown-ass man. You know they be talking like that with they homeboy, I'm a grown-ass man, that shit ain't hurt, man. She could punch me dead in my face, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even buzz, that shit ain't nothing. You done had to pull a whole iron out on her, I just. <laughs> yeah, never do that. Yeah, only stick to the part where it sounds so bad, bro, like, come on, bro, uh, like, hit me out. You pick up upstairs enough. I picked my gun because I was gonna walk out. Make it uh, make sense. I can't. I can't get my gun on my counter, and I'm gonna walk out the house because I'm gonna go. Because I'm gonna leave. I got my keys in my hand. I'm gonna leave because you argue. You wanna fuss and fight. You wanna. You wanna throw shit. Do the fucking absolutely most that a nigga not gonna do. So I'm gonna get my shit and leave. I why I can't deal with her such females, bro. I'm telling y'all, females really a problem. Y'all motherfuckers are dangerous and shit, bro. That's so. That's the next gas, like, cause women are dangerous. But you the one pulling out the gun. I I I, I am behooveth. Okay. Women can absolutely play a dangerous role in the situation. That's a fact. But being dangerous would have grabbed that gun before you did. I'm just saying. You just had a woman that wasn't quick enough on her toes. That's all I'm saying. I just I. Y'all show, y'all show how dangerous y'all are. I don't give a fuck. Y'all see that the manipulation shit. Y'all show how manipulative. Now then Corey went on. He just is manipulative. Now this fool been acting like this whole time, like he not smashing his assistant and decide to bring his wife back into the situation with his assistant as if she wasn't going to peep it. And you think that she's dangerous now. Corey, I, you didn't. Carmen wasn't the right woman because if you if you thought some shit was dangerous, we would be looking at y'all on Channel 9 News for real. Because for you to bring a woman back into a situation where you trying to fix your marriage, but you bring her back with your girlfriend. But she's the manipulator and she's the dangerous one. Oh, my God. On to speak on this whole situation with him allegedly sleeping with his assistant. Now he showed receipts that Carmen wasn't telling the full truth about Yo. him sleeping with the okay, help. Cool. So I blog that how I met Prisha. Y'all seen the video? Like the Yo, video of me and Prisha. That's the worst. That's the worst shit you could ever do to me. Have me kicking it with your girlfriend. And I'm supposed to be with you too. Oh my 
it would have been dangerous for everybody in the house because I would have lost my shit. I don't even know where I am. Who am I right now? What a loss. You know how, you know if a, you know if a, 222 in the chat, you know if a server is on your man or your girlfriend. You know if somebody outside checking your nigga out because you looking in to see who checking your nigga out because you know you in here with a boss and blah, blah, blah. So, you had them in a personal setting for her to see how she's treating you. And you wonder why she throwing shit at you and, and oh, this nigga crazy. Person meet each other's bitch on YouTube. So she went with me to go get my car because nobody in the house wouldn't fucking go with me. I met this girl that way, right? That's how I met her. So now I met her because of your ass. To be honest, the whole situation. That's get it, that's not get it twisted. That's how I met Blame and Carmen again. <laughs> now, when I met Precious, you know what I'm saying, me and Precious, genuine, you know, we just come stay, it's all cool, you feel me, like, just nothing, it's just cool. Crazy. And then, we had a bit of friendship, like, it was cool. And so, when um, me and Carmen broke up, I'm cool with Precious, because she understand me, what's going on, because she been here the whole, she was here from the beginning. No, 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 Carmen was there from the beginning, Corey. She came in on a vulnerable moment. She knows your vulnerable moments. <laughs> oh my God. You done told this woman how you want to be treated and she's over there taking notes and handling that. Because Carmen wasn't doing it for you anymore because of whatever reason she wasn't doing it for you which you're going to show shorty soon and she's going to leave your ass too. <laughs> this nigga shell gang. <laughs> Precious know everything from day one from when that shit happened. Cause of how we all met. So she know the real. See, that's why she ain't want to talk. Cause like, but she know all the bullshit that Carmen put on right now. I swear to God, she can really like her, my mom, everybody. So boom. Now, me and Precious actually started working together when me and you broke up. Mind you, you was already still doing your own thing. You was still already doing your- Corey, who the fuck, who he thinks stupid? That's, I, that's so crazy that he, see this shit that he pulled on Carmen? You can't pull that on the rest of everybody else. Gang, Carmen wouldn't go get the car with you, which you just told us that. So you ended up meeting Precious at the car place. What you did was you got her number. <laughs> you got her number. Y'all started communicating when you and Carmen was together. After you and Carmen broke up is when you decided to fully tap in with Precious. Why you think we stupid like that? <laughs> I don't, what? What? <laughs> Some of y'all women, boy, these niggas be talking. Listen to these men. Stop talking. Listen to them. They tell you everything. Everything you need to know is right there. He just took. Carmen wouldn't go get the car with me. Nobody in the house would go get the car with me. So that's how this started. Because, see, he was pissed off at the fact that you wouldn't go get the car with him. So now he like, oh, you don't want to get the car with me? I bet you when I'm outside with another woman and she go get the car with me, then it's going to be an issue, right? So he go outside to go get the car. Boom, he meet Precious. Oh, God damn, what's going on with your shorty? Let me get your number. He was already sick of Carmen ass. Let's just talk about it. So he decided to get her number. Boom, they broke up. He take her ass to Puerto Rico. Y'all remember? He was there with Precious. Him and Precious probably was doing everything under the sun that God wouldn't approve in a marriage. And then he brought her back. Then she became the assistant because now they're broken up. So she need to do everything that Carmen was doing. Cooking, cleaning, running errands, shit like that. 
But you trying to act like Carmen made you do it. Oh my God. Your own thing. I didn't know. I didn't know you was doing your own thing. You out here doing your own thing with her. I don't know this. So boom, when I went, when I when I kicked out, I said I broke up with her. It's over with. I called Precious like, hey. Carmen was doing her own thing because you was already doing your own thing too, Corey. Stop playing, gang. For a nigga to always be like, I'm going to keep it real. I'm a real ass nigga. I'm going to keep it real. You know they be lying. <laughs> if a nigga got to say, hold on, all right, all right. I'm going to keep it all the way a band with you. First of all, they have to they have to get that lie together. That, that takes time. Kevin Hart showed us that the other day. That takes time. Then... They got to get their point across, which is the cap. Can you come down to Houston and you can be my assistant because I know I'm going to need help Man. with shit because I just broke up this girl and I'm going to do my music. Fuck all that. I just know for a fact I'm going to need somebody to come assist me. Like cook, clean, all that other shit. And she was like, okay, fine. She dropped everything she had and she came down. Why would Literally. You? And when she came down, she came down and she was there for me when nobody was. When everybody walked out. When I left you, I left. I went to on Miami. She everybody was... walked out or did you leave her, Corey? You just said you left her, but saying she walked out at the same time. Which one is it? <laughs> the whole time, she saw how all the fake ass niggas that I thought were my friends switched up on a nigga. She thought that she saw how everybody was using me for my money. She saw everything. She saw she was there. So... Me and you wasn't talking the whole time in five months. And you come back to my and you come back into my life the February 20th. That's when me and you come back. And I'm precious been in my life the whole entire time. You feel what I'm saying? Like just being a, like a real woman for me. No headache, my peace. You know what I'm saying? My assistant. Mind y'all, let me go ahead and bust it down for y'all. My peace, my assistant. No, she was your shorty because your your assistant is your assistant. Your shorty is your peace. Your your assistant can't provide peace in a personal way. But she can look out for you in a business way. She gets, you have peaceful business and you have peaceful relationship. And well, peace in your relationship. She will both of them. Nigga. I don't know what the fuck. And everybody be trying to put us together. Bro, I st I'm still talking to other girls doing my own thing. This is my assistant. Bro, I go on dates and all that shit. And I hang out with my own, with my girl, my friends and shit. Y'all be And then after that, you go have sex with your assistant, Co Corey. I don't know. I, I got to tell you, I know you think that everybody's slow, but you continuously telling on yourself, gang. It's a lot of women I had. When I first met my girl, she was approving everybody I was smashing. And hell, I was approving who she was smashing too, because we didn't give a damn, to be honest with you. I had my rules and regulations, you know what I'm saying? But she, you know. When we met each other, do you, do you, I'm going to do me and we're going to do each other later that night. That's just how that was. This nigga like, I go on dates, I, I, I'm talking to other women and shit. Like, yes. And your assistant, the one you sleep with at the end of the night. Oh my God. For him to be a real nigga, he got to keep it real. <laughs> Trying to put us together so bad, so she's so real about Precious. It's like Precious ain't even a problem. But Precious you... is a problem. If you want your wife back, fool. <laughs> I could just throw this computer right now, bro. Oh, my God. He would drive me crazy talking to me. Because niggas will really make you think you stupid. Like, hold on. You telling me <laughs> that your assistant is your peace at the same time telling me don't worry about it? You got rid of Carmen to make the assistant your peace. What the hell you want me back for? That's... You're worried about pressure because you see that this girl close to me and she's, she's valued. And the reason oh. you know she's valued because if she wasn't valued, you would have never texted it to that girl. I stand on that. What'd she say? Carmen texted her and Carmen said, hey, just want to say it's nice getting to know you. I don't know what God has planned for me, all of us, but I fought with you and will always just be grateful that you was put in chorus life. Thank you for being patient and allow him to learn and find himself. Never had a bad feeling about you. And I was right on. Corey, that was in February 20th. You said that you and Karma just got back together in February. 
See, I pay too much attention to shit for, for niggas to think that they can even play. Are you crazy? I think he is. I think he is. Why I couldn't have anything against you, everything's pure and genuine from me. And this nigga uncovered up the rest of the uh, her message. I'm just tired of the bullshit. That's what I'm tired of. That's what it is. Y'all keep getting feed all this shit. The girls that want to come with some shade rooms and then just say all that shit about the girl. Oh, he's fucking his sister. You just said all that shit in the comments. Because it's true. That was before she found out y'all was fucking. Hello. You see how they try? Do y'all really see how these folks try every shortcut? No, it would be. Oh, it would be. Bro, why y'all can't just accept real for what real is? Because it ain't real. Are you fucking serious? Gonna see how these. That was before she found out y'all was fucking. That's true. You said that she started talking to you again in February. February 20th, she's saying thank you for being there for my nigga and holding down the fort until I got back. And thank you for being patient because I know you handling the business I'm supposed to be handling. However, she thought he was just cooking and cleaning, not sucking and fucking. Nigga. <laughs> and then, oh my God. I, oh my God. You see how they try? Do y'all really see how these folks try every shortcut? No, it would be. Oh, it would. Bro, why y'all can't just accept real for what real is? Like, what the fuck? Like, y'all trying to find like, a shortcut for a bit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> shortcut? I'm... I'm so happy that I have chosen the life that I live because I too would be in jail <laughs> for uh, attempted whatever, premeditation, attempted murder, attempted homicide. Because you trying to tell me that it's Carmen's fault for putting it in the shade room, teens comments or shade room at the fact that you was doing the do with your assistant, which in fact is true. But you tried to show a message, which you edited out the rest of her message, by the way, um, that she had accepted Shawty and was cool with her when she had just came back in the picture, which was in February. What you just showed us was February 20th. It is May 25th. And now when Carmen was around y'all and she realized, oh shit, they was having sex too. Now she kind of, she done came to her senses and now you think that you gonna call her crazy, but also gonna call us crazy as well. That's why Carmen said this type of shit will drive you crazy. No, it won't Carmen. You know the truth. <laughs> you know the truth girl i'm off this bitch